hi guys um today I kind of want to talk about um, my kids <laughs> my kids on earth my earthly children my um two amazing boys um, I have a six-year-old Aiden and then a two-year-old named Bryce um, now obviously my two-year-old doesn't understand the things that are going on Aiden does more so than Bryce does um, but he still doesn't fully get it um, I wanted to share with you guys some things my kids are doing, some things they're going through, some questions they've asked, well, my older one has asked, and then um, also some resources that may be helpful. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is the way my kids are handling this. Um, when I told my six-year-old, when we told Aiden, and we had no idea how we were going to do this, and um, but we knew for sure we didn't want him to see her body. Um, because he had never seen her. Um, we didn't want her body to be something significant for him because her body is just her vessel. Um, and we love her pictures and we love how adorable she was, but that's not her. Her soul is her. And um, we wanted to make sure that we made that clear for him. So we did take pictures of her and showed him the pictures as we explained to him that this is your sister. This is Sophia Marilyn. Um, and she's with God. Um, she doesn't get to come home. For a long time, for a few weeks, he would always say things like, when Sophia Marilyn comes back. And um, we just had to reassure him that she's not. Um, and make sure that he knew that that doesn't mean that we're not going to see her again. This just means she's not coming here in our house. She's not going to be a part of our everyday family. Um, but she's watching over us and watching over him. And he can talk to her. And she can talk to him. So making sure that he knew that. Um, and it was really hard to, you know, explain to him all that. Bryce, of course, has no idea. The only thing significant that he's done is basically touched my stomach and said, Fia. And of course, there's no Sophia in there. Um, so that's been difficult to try to tell him, no, that's a belly. There's no Sophia in there. And, um, you know, but I have my bracelet that I wear all the time that says in memory of Sophia Marilyn. Um, so I try to tell him that this says Sophia. And um, because he's not going to know for a while, like, um, what happened or who she was um he sees her pictures and he says baby and we tell him sophia and um but i don't think <laughs> i don't think he's gonna understand for a while he just turned two so um this is this is really hard for him i know that my six-year-old um he hasn't really talked so much about her um i did make a point to make sure to tell him not to talk to kids his age about it um, because they just don't understand and they just don't um, and I don't expect them to and I would hate I would hate 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 for him to like start a conversation about his sister who's in heaven and for all the kids to be like heaven's not real um, or to make fun of him or just to not understand and to hurt him um, with him not being able to get them to understand because he's one of those kids that everyone has to know exactly what he thinks um, so I've always told him that if, you know, if you need to talk about Sophia, find an adult, a safe adult that you know, you know, be it that he's in church, he finds a, a youth leader or um, one of the people who kind of chaperone um, the class or if he's in school going to his teacher or to a counselor. And, um, and then I told him too, you know, you are always okay to ask somebody if you can call mommy and daddy. He knows daddy's phone number. Um, so he's welcome to call us and to talk to us if he needs to. Um, I just don't, I don't want him to try and explain something that no one understands his age. Uh, so that's one thing that we've done. Um, 
some good resources, just so you know, are, um, there's three books. Well, there's four. I don't really know about the fourth one. Everyone um, talks about this book called We Were Going to Have a Baby, But We Had an Angel Instead. And I've heard it's great and wonderful. Um, I have not physically touched the book, so I can't tell you or attest to that. Um, I can say the three that I love are Heaven is for Real for Kids because the pictures are so bright and vibrant. And it is a board book. So it's very, very, very durable. Um, it's something we keep in our car. Uh, and I mean, it's just, it's cute. And the boys like it. Um, so that's the first resource I have. The second resource for kids is, um, there's a book called Someone I Loved Died. And it talks all about the process of dying. And it, it talks about how their body is just a vessel. And no one lives there anymore. So you don't have to be sad that um, you're burying the body or you know, that it's in a vase now, or, you know, all those things, and it talks about heaven, and, but the cool thing about that book is that there are parts in the pages where it'll ask, and how does that make you feel, um, or there's a spot where they can draw how they feel, and I think that's wonderful, because a lot of times a six-year-old doesn't know what he's feeling, but he can draw how his face feels, um, how his heart's feeling, and sometimes they know that they're sad, um, and it helps you open up and talk to them too because it's sometimes it's really hard uh, to remember that they're going through things that they've never gone through before. Um, and not only that, but they're going through things that they can't explain. They don't have the words to. I mean, they're six. The, they know happy, sad, mad, glad, surprised. Um, but this, this is something deeper for them. Um, so I love that book for that. And it has prayer and more resources on the back of the book. Um, it's wonderful. Um, all the links to these resources I will put down below for Amazon so that you can just automatically get them if you choose and if you need them. Um, or you could always go to your bookstore and check them out. Um, another really great book that I found is Waterbugs and Dragonflies. And this was actually referred to me um, at our local store. Uh, it talks about, and you can find the poem online. Um, and it's the exact same thing that's in the book. I just like having the physical book. Basically, it talks about this colony of water bugs, and every once in a while, a water bug will climb up a lily leaf and disappear at the top of the water, and they don't understand why, and they're questioning it and wondering, you know, weren't they happy here? Why? Where are they going? What? What's up there? And they make a pact that um, whoever goes up next is going to come back and tell them. And the guy, of course, who suggested, well, sorry, the water bug who suggested this, um, he found himself going up the lily leaf and he had no idea why. And he got to the top and fell asleep. And when he awoke, he was a dragonfly and he had these great wings and he saw all these things that he had never seen before, you know, this brand new place. And he was flying and it was just so great. And he found himself right above his water bug friends. And looking down, he remembered his promise and he tried to get back and he hit the water and bounced right off. And he realized I can't get back. And he's going to be breaking his promise. And he, you know, realizes, well, eventually they'll come up here. And then I can tell them what I've been doing. And they can see, they can see where I'm at. Um, and it was just, it's a great book to open their eyes to what heaven is. You know, the fact that Sophia can see us. And, you know, your, your losses can see your family. Um, and they want, they want so bad to be with us. But it's just so wonderful up there, and it's so perfect, and, and uh, you know, they're just, they're waiting. They're waiting for us to know. So um, that was a great book because it put it in tangible terms for them because, I mean, what kid doesn't love bugs? I say um a lot, don't I? Sorry. So those are three of the best resources that I can give you so far. I mean, I'm only six weeks into this. Um, anyway... Hopefully this has been helpful to somebody.